Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all been doing a little bit more work on the blacksmith shop here, and uh, I just want to show you what I got done there. On the front here, these uh, window shutters, I got those built and put up. So let me show you how that looks there. Just gonna walk you over here. And I haven't got no handles or any, any way of locking them yet, but um, just a real simple design. Nothing fancy, but it's going to work for the intended purpose, you know, being able to uh, lock out some of the cold when it gets cold and weather and also open up when I'm in there working, you know, and letting any kind of smoke and stuff out of there. So it's got good cross crawl ventilation through here now. And uh, another thing I got done here and I walk around the side is a door on the side here. I got it built show y'all what that looks like so uh y'all can see um i didn't you know it's got cracks and stuff when i build stuff y'all i'm not i'm not trying to get it just perfect i'm just trying to get it built and uh i don't want it too too shabby though don't get me wrong but <laughs> it is rough cut lumber sawmill lumber and i don't take the time to try to square up the edge sometimes i do if the board's real crooked i, I try to square it up some bit but uh I hear a lot of people say, well, it just adds character to it. I don't know if it's a character or just my bad carpentry skills. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I, I think it turned out pretty good, you know. It serves a purpose. That's, that's the whole point. And uh, I haven't, get, like I say, got no handles, anything, no latches, anything built. And I'll show you there. Just a real simple design. Old, um, I guess you call it old school or like our forefathers used to build stuff, you know, just uh, simple. And uh, that's something that y'all is talking about that, being simple. I don't know if y'all ever uh, looked at a lot of old photos, and uh, I do. I love uh, old photos of old home places, cabins, and uh, how people lived a long time ago. If you look at the majority of people, that and maybe just cause they they wasn't skilled they just had a you know had to build the best they could but uh if you look at all the old photos the home places they just had old cabins where it be log cabins or board and batten cabins and some i even consider them shacks but them shacks were actually their home you know they consider them shacks their home now you look at today's homes how modern they are how fancy how big the homes were you no know, years ago you no know, you'd have people living in homes cabins you have nine twelve family members that lived in a cabin and they lived there all their life you know until they was out moved out married whatever and there's a uh, plenty enough room for them you know to live there and i you know i think about that a lot of times you know uh you know we go through a lot of i don't know i don't personally i've always kind of built when i built my house here i built it you no know, small and i added on to it but if I had my way, I probably never even added on to it, to be honest with you. I've always liked uh, simple type homes and cabins and stuff like that. But the point I'm making here, people go spend three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars just, you know, and drop, you know, for a home that they're going to live in so many years. And I don't know. I guess if that's what makes you happy, you know, that's just nothing wrong with that. But it's amazing how far we came from just a simple living simple things in life to having the most luxurious type homes cars and stuff like that and really it's not even necessary and now i was telling my wife too and another thing to think about you know sometimes you know we put a lot of extra stress and sometimes maybe even work on ourselves for things that you know that's not even maybe not even needed it's just things we want you know and then again, there's nothing wrong with that too, you know. I could say the same thing about this blacksmith shop here. I said, well, you know, I didn't have to do that, you know, but if something I've been wanting for a long time and there's nothing, you know, wrong with working for what you want. And you know, I, I think about, you know, a lot of times, this day and time, if you find it anyway, a lot of people want something for nothing. They don't want to work for nothing. They just want you to hand it to them like it's, uh, it's, it's, it's supposed to be given to them and they deserve it you know i was never raised that way 
I was raised, you know, if you're going to have something or you want something, you don't, you're going to have to work for it. So I know this video kind of different, y'all. It didn't intend for this video to even start out this way. I just want to show y'all what my blacksmith shop, uh, how it's going. And I got, I started thinking about, you know, how simple things were back in the old days and how things out now seems to got, you know, so complicated, it seems like. But uh, I go back to one thing, you know, life is only for most part, you know, now there's things completely out of your control that you have no control over. But a lot of times life is as complicated or as simple as you want them to be. If I, you know, think about that for a minute. You can make your life as simple as you want it to be or as complicated. So, you know, that's something to think about, you know, if you want to have the best and the biggest things, you got to really work hard for the, the biggest and best things, you know. But if you just want a simple, you know, something simple in life, you can have the simple things and be just as happy as the people that have the, the biggest and most uh, expensive things in life. And like I say, I, I say again, there's nothing wrong than big, expensive things if that's what makes you happy. But one thing for certain, you're going to have to work hard for it, and, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. But um, sometimes I think we we don't we, we we don't need as much as we think we do, and you know if we would simplify our life just a little bit, I believe it'd be a lot less stressful, a lot easier on a lot of people. And because, uh, like I say, you know if you look at the way we live, modern day living and stuff, you know we have tons and tons and tons of uh, things that you know they're just pleasures and they're not really necessities to live it's just things that we want or what we like so anyway y'all just uh maybe take this message heart you know and if you if you want them people out there that wants to downsize and maybe you know thinking well maybe i don't need as much i think you know it may free up some extra time you have you know not extra time but may give you some extra time you know and i can say this too y'all playing um, sports and stuff like that you know I, I help my son you know coach him baseball and basketball for right now and stuff you know that's another thing a lot of times parents they spend a lot of time you know throughout the years their kids and stuff are in school and you know with sports and different things like that and i think it's a good thing person myself in a lot of ways as far as you know learning team team uh playing as a team and you know, learning how to uh you know interact with different people and stuff like that you know and i think that's important but all at the same time y'all it, it seems like you know a lot of time is put into it and there's that then again I, I go back and forth there's nothing wrong with that too you know if that's if that's what makes you happy and as far as me and my son you know playing sports you know i'm happy to be able to do that with him and um maybe one day he'll look back and see all the time that I spent with him, you know, helping him out and helping coach and stuff like that. You know, it's going to be, you know, hopefully, you know, be good memories so he can look back on and many times he spent with his dad and stuff like that. But y'all, I, I done rambled on way too long here because uh, give me another five minutes and I'll be talking about something else here. But anyway, y'all, appreciate y'all watching the video. Appreciate y'all coming along. And as always, friends from my family years, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.